then there's two superficial muscles on top. Look, then there's another muscle that comes from the groin area that comes in here like this. portion here but at this point right now the structure of, of the bicep would be below ribcage is not an egg ribcage has planar structure and the, the planar structure is based on again the structures of the muscles <laughs> but what happens though is when I do something like this <laughs> right watch 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 you see there's a plane so what I have to do is I take two pieces two sticks like this and I go like this right so anybody who wants to debate that the ribcage is a rounded form or an ovoid form Let's go. Let's debate. We'll go outside and we'll figure it out. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> the rib cage is here. Now what happens is there are two muscles here, right? Which is the adductor longus and brevis. Now the, the spermatic cord comes out of the abdominal wall, comes over the pubis symphysis, and drops over those forms. Again, there are two muscles here that hide it. Okay? Which is the tensor fasciolata and the sartorius. The tensor fasciolata and the sartorius. See, the brevis is going to run that way into the femur, and the longus is going to run that way into the femur. So we get this crisscross. And then the gluteus maximus, which comes down like this. So watch what happens. Look. 